In this video, I'll quickly show you how to sideload with SideQuest and other basic features you might find useful. But of course, before you can use SideQuest, you have to set it up first. If you haven't done it yet, watch this video I'll link down below. When you open SideQuest, you'll see a lot of games and apps which are mostly free. They are uploaded by the developers themselves, so yes, they are legal and won't get your Oculus account in trouble. If you notice, there is a sign in button here. But you don't need an account to use SideQuest. Although having one means you get to keep yourself updated on the latest news on the games and apps that you have wishlisted or downloaded while you were signed in. After you sign in, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. Here you'll see your newsfeed. News on your wishlisted and downloaded games and apps will appear in this section. This is a new feature they added in the recent update and it's currently on beta. Side loading or simply installing games and apps for Oculus Quest has been made very easy by SideQuest. While your Quest is connected to your PC, you just click on your chosen title, and on the right side of the window, click Install to Headset. It's gonna say Installing, then starting App Install at the bottom. And when it's done, it's gonna say Completed. If it's a big file and it's taking too long to download, you can check the download progress by going to Tasks. In here, you can also cancel your queued downloads by clicking the X button. In your quest, you'll find your sideloaded games and apps by clicking this drop-down box where it says All, then scrolling down to Unknown Sources. By enabling wireless mode, you can sideload and enjoy the rest of SideQuest features without an attached cable. Click the wireless mode button on the top right and click connect. You'll then see this small arrow beside the green dot which means you may now disconnect the cable. Once you've disconnected it, the small arrow will disappear and you can freely use your quest away from your PC without any movement restriction caused by a cable. But this is not a one-time thing. If you close SideQuest, restart your PC or your headset, the connection will be lost and you're gonna have to reconnect your Quest via USB and enable wireless mode again. The Quest is an Android device, so it can open regular Android apps which you normally use on Android phones or tablets. Click the Install APK button on the top right and find the Android app you want to sideload. You can also just drag and drop the APK files to this big SideQuest logo. But since they aren't made for the Quest, there's no guarantee that they will function the way they do on the devices they are originally intended for. Some might work perfectly, some might not. There are many sites you can download Android apps from, but I usually go to APK Mirror and APK Pure. This is one of the features that is best done on wireless mode. Click the stream icon found on the top right, make the necessary changes, and click Start Stream. This is very useful when you're recording, but it doesn't capture audio. If you want to record with audio, I would recommend a super cheap paid Microsoft app called Air Receiver. The default resolution is an issue for some people. They want to achieve a more rectangular than a square-shaped look. With SideQuest, changing the resolution is possible and easy to do. Click this wrench icon at the top right, scroll down to set video capture size, and click the resolution you want. Confirmation will appear here. But this may not be advisable for some games because to achieve this size, the video will have to be cropped. And one more thing, this is not permanent. Once you restart your quest, it will go back to its original resolution. SideQuest can also serve as your file manager. These icons you see here are actually bookmarked folders and were added for easier access to the custom song folders of these games. If you want to add a custom song for O-Shape, just click the O-Shape icon and it will open the O-Shape custom song folder. Then just drag and drop your custom song here. You can also delete it by clicking the X button.
These bookmarks can be changed to your preference. If you don't have Song Beater, for example, you can change it to something else or just delete it. You can also add more if you want. If you do a factory reset, all your data will be lost. You will lose your game's scores and progress. So if you want to save all of it, create a backup with SideQuest. Go to your currently installed apps. Click Backup slash Restore All. You can select specific games or select all, and then run backup. You'll see the progress by going to Tasks. Restoring is also just as easy. Just click this button here where it says Change to Restore. Then select All and click Run Restore. So those are the things that I think every new SideQuest user should know about. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button.